What's up guys, Brad here from Piney Grove and we are in our fifth year of transforming this 20 acres into our future homestead. But this year we're gonna put in our first garden. First thing I gotta do is put in four posts. We're gonna put in two real heavy duty posts. I think they're like 10 inches or so, 10 inches in diameter. And we're gonna put them down here for a bean trellis and then we're gonna put in two more posts so we can hang up some deer netting. We have a lot of deer on this property and we're trying to keep them out of the garden. So come along as we dig these post holes and get these posts sunk in. So I drove in some rebar and put some flags on the four corners. And I don't know how often you have to square something up, but I probably measured this five or six times before I got it square. It's pretty square now, time to dig the holes. It's not wanting to dig the hole. It's been kind of dry lately and there's clay under there, so it's struggling a little. There it goes. It's like it caught some, some kind of good dirt and it went on down. That hole didn't want to dig at first. It went down about a foot and then it just stopped. So. I just let it grind and then it eventually caught. It went down and uh, what we have here is we have a very dense clay soil and I guess it got down to that clay and couldn't break through. But once it did, it made a nice clean hole. And I actually think I dug it kind of straight for a change. One down, three to go. Kind of the same thing. Look like it stopped. There it goes. It's going now. That one seemed to have dug a little easier on the hole number three. One more hole left. That third hole dug quite a bit harder. I don't know why, I thought it hit a root. I thought I heard it kind of binding up on a root, but uh, then it just finally went through. I think it was just hard clay again. One more hole left to dig, then we're done digging holes, and maybe we'll put the posts in today. All four holes are dug, so now I'll go get the poles in place in there. They don't have to be exactly set right, they just have to be plumb, so rather than cleaning out the holes, I'll probably just put the post in. You can see we got some steadily sized poles here. I don't even think they're gonna fit in that hole. The two taller ones will, but these shorter ones, I don't think have a chance of fitting in that hole, but we'll try it. These posts are ginormous. I'm gonna move that chain a little, get a little better balance. Now that I look at it, it looks like the bottom's a lot thicker than the top. So I need to move the chain so I can put that thinner por portion down in the hole. That thinner portion might fit in the hole. I don't know, man, it ain't looking good. Now one thing I do wanna say, 
Do not operate your tractor on uneven ground with a load that high. I didn't have a lot of choice. I've been going real slow, but uh, you want to get that load as low as possible. Can't really see anything. I don't want to cave the hole in, so I want it to go straight down. Let me show you how tight this is. We're gonna call that a win. I think it's in there. Okay, same thing. I think this pole's a little bit smaller. That one actually wasn't too bad. It seemed to go straight down. These poles are only eight inch poles like the fence posts we put in the back of Piney Grove. So we actually probably could have put this post in by hand, but when you got a tractor and chains, might as well use that. So what I'm trying to do is make sure that the post doesn't hit the side of the hole as it goes down and cave in the hole. Okay, number three's in, one more to go. All right guys, all four posts are in. We got the beginnings of our first garden out here on Piney Grove after five years of working hard out here. But uh, that's all we got for you today. So until the next video, y'all remember, life's short, tractor hard. PG out.